we have got this polygon over here in blue color okay and let's pass the first scan line through this so we have got this first scan line scan line a and you have got four intersection points over here a b c and d all right hey guys welcome to another computer graphics tutorial today we'll be looking at scan line polygon fill algorithm so let's get started so these are the steps that you perform in scan line polygon fill algorithm but remember watch this video completely i'm going to take care of all the special cases and with proper example i explain so make sure that you watch the video completely all right so first step is find the intersections of the scan line with all edges of the polygon second step is sort the intersections by increasing order in the x coordinate from that is from left to right and then make pairs of the intersection and fill in the color with all the pixels inside the pair it is very simple algorithm so let's look at an example let's say we have got this polygon over here in blue color okay and let's pass the first scan line through this so we have got this first scan line scan line a and you have got four intersection points over here a b c and d all right what we'll do we'll write them down uh, yeah so let's say we have got four points over here a b c and d and we have written them in increasing order okay so you sort them in increasing order from left to right and then you make pairs of them so let's make pair of them it's a comma b is first pair and c comma d is the second pair and then you fill in the color between this pair so let's use highlighter all right all right so let's fill in the color between these pairs so we have got oh yeah between a and b and then between c and d all right so we have done it for the first scan line what about the second one so yeah next is scan line b so it is e f g now what happens over here let's write them down first uh, let's choose pen yeah so we have got only three pairs or three points over here or three intersection points we have got e f and g okay so what do you do when you have got only three points as you can see f is a vertice over here okay so when you when you find a vertice in as an intersection point at that place you have to check about the edges that are connected to that vertice so f has two edges connected this one and this one and both of them are on the same side of the scan line that is both of them on the top side of the scan line b so we count the intersection f twice and we make the pairs so we have got e f and f g that is you you count intersection f twice and you make the pairs e comma f and f comma g and then you fill in the color between these two pairs so let's choose the highlighter now yeah so oh we'll change the color it's okay let's use the red color is better yeah so let's fill in the color between these intersection points e f and f g all right now the next intersection or the next scan line is scan line c okay as you can see over here we have got four intersection points h i j and k okay but again the point i over here is a vertex correct so how do we do this let's write down these points first okay so we have got in scan line c we have got h i j and k okay so whenever a vertex is there as an intersection point you have to check the edges that are connected to it so as we can see this edge and this edge they are on opposite side of this scan line c that is one is on the top one is in the bottom so when they are on the opposite sides the connected edges are on the opposite side you count this intersection as only one point that's why we write it as single h i and we make a pair of h i over here and j k and we fill in the area between h i and j k so let's use the highlighter yeah and let's fill in the color we'll fill in the area between h i and j k over here okay now the next intersection point is scan line d we have got three intersection point over here l m and n correct uh, let's use the pen okay 
So let's write it down. We have got three intersection points, L, M, and we have got N over here. Now, as again, we have to check M is an intersection, which is a vertex, correct? And there are two edges that are connected to this vertex, this one and this one, okay? And are they on the same side of the scan line? Yes, both of them are on the top side of the scan line. So you count the intersection M twice, and that's why we make a pair of L comma N, uh, sorry, L comma M and M comma N over here, okay? And you fill in the area between these two points. So let's use the highlighter. Now, once we have crossed the M over here, we'll have a new scan line that has only two intersection points, N and O, that is scan line E. So let's use the pen. We have got N and O. These are the only two intersection points. So we make a pair of them and then we fill in the color for these points. So let's use the highlighter and we'll fill in the color for this. So as you can see over here, we have completely filled this area or this polygon by using scanline polygon fill algorithm. Okay, so I hope you got this concept how we make pairs, how we actually organize them, or how we count them once or twice depending on the uh, edges that are there on the same side or on the opposite side of the vertex. So let's look at the special cases now. Okay, so we've got some special cases over here. So some scanline intersection at polygon are vertices that require special handling, as we have seen. A scanline passing through a vertex intersects two polygon edges at that position and we have to add two points uh, in the list of intersections if both the vertices, uh, both the edges are on the same side of the scanline. Okay. So as we can see over here, we have got our scanline B. Okay. Now in scanline B, we have got three intersection points. Which are the three intersection points? Let's write them down. Okay. We have got, over here we have got F, E, we have got F, you have got G. Okay. So we have got E, then we have got F and we have got G. Now, out of this, we have got E and F. These two are vertices, but they are again different vertices. Why? Because as you can see, the edges that are connected to vertice E, they are on the opposite sides. So we count E only once, okay? Whereas for F, both the edges that are connected, they are on the same side of the scan line. That is, both of them are on top. In E, they are one is on top, one is on the bottom. Whereas in F, both of them are on top. So hence, we count this twice, that is, this intersection twice, and we count G as normal because it is not a vertice. So that's why we write it like this E comma F since we are counting F twice and then we have got F comma G and then we fill in the area between them. So this is how we are, this is how we handle a special case when a vertice is there that is through which the scan line is passing. Okay. Now next we have got scan line C. So in scan line C also we have got a vertice through which the scan line is passing, which is I. Okay. So we have got four intersection points over here. Four intersection points we have got H, I, J, and K. I is an vertice and the edges that are connected to I are what? It is one is on the top, one is on the bottom. So we count I only once. Okay. So that's why we just keep it once and we make a pair of H comma I and j comma j comma k and then we fill in the area between these two intersection pairs that is h i and j k all right and the next one is scan line d over here also we have got a vertice through which the scan line is passing so we have got intersection point m over here so l m and n we have got three intersection points over here l m and n but m is a vertice. So when M is a vertice, both the edges that are connected to it, this one and this one, are they on the same side of the scan line? Yes, they are both on the top. Hence, we count this intersection M point twice. So we have got L comma M and we have got M comma N. So this is how we handle special cases when the scan line is passing through a vertice. Okay. So I hope you got this concept. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you very much. And guys, please subscribe to my channel.
Thank you. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.